Well, today is a special day because it is considered Valentine's Day in which some of us or most of us have somebody to say I love you and I appreciate you. Like I said, some of us. But for others, not so much. Today, as part of this Valentine's Day special, I bring to you a game from the classic age of arcade games back in 1989, a game in which I don't think anybody has ever heard of, and even if they did, it's been a long ass time since they heard of the title. And, um, even though this is a running gun, it reminds you of a couple things that make and don't make sense. You know why? Game logic. That's why. So, presenting the most strangest game I've ever actually ever played, and to be somewhat proud to be playing this for Valentine's Day, because this is probably not the end of it anyway. This underrated classic of 1989 brought to us by Konami. And yes, Konami, I am giving you props. So therefore, don't try to say, oh, third party content or some, some bullshit like that. Content ID, crap, or, you know, whatever. So, presenting this arcade classic from 1989 by Konami. This. Madcap. Running gun. Guns. Cars. Beautiful women. Special Project Y or Spy. You play as two men, and they're armed with. Believe it or not, guns that fire jalapenos. I kid you not, game, uh, this game has that going for itself. Of course, they must battle a madman that wants to take over the world by firing off in... ICBM. I'm gonna dub these two guys Lupin the Gadget Double O WTF and Gigan Darpscape. Yeah, Gigan Darpscape. I'm gonna call it what I see it. So with that, let's start this bitch. EMY Prime Nuke Warhead Threat. This is your mission. When I read up on this game, I played this game first, but I didn't know that you were basically firing off jalapeno peppers. This game is so deliciously broken. And as I and as I told you, yeah, this guy looks like he's you know related to Lupin in some way because he's sporting the jacket in the um, second season, I believe. I think even in some of the movies he was sporting this jacket.
Yes, because big men fall before the might of um, a freaking frag grenade. And no, we're not talking about Big Fay Plus. We're talking about douchebags who actually just get blown the fuck up by frag grenades. Now check how check how quick this is. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I forgot. Rocket launcher. Now what I just fired off was the fireball. And yes, it does remind me of Contra in some way. Reminds me a bit of Laser Invasion 2. SHOTGUN! Oh, it's this guy right here. And the switch option, you know, you can actually adjust it to where, you know, you can have score every 20,000 and every 30,000. Or just 20,000 or 30,000. Which I found really cool. You can also adjust the options and uh, just the difficulty of the game. So I just kept it on normal. Shotgun! Oh please, fat man. I have a shotgun. Get the fuck out of my face. Thank you. This also reminds me of Bayou Billy. Because the setup kind of reminds me of Gordon's Mansion. And here's the first boss. He carries a bow staff. Yet a bow staff is no match for a shotgun. Or a good punch in the face. I'll get you, gadget. Oh yeah, and of course this reminds you of um. Of course, this reminds you of Space Harrier. So much like Space Harrier. Of course, the fireball is a clear all weapon. And the fireball is basically an attache case that fires off. 
those kind of those kind of attacks. Nashda, go away! Look at all those bodies just getting dirt and dusted. This game just has nuts and everything spy related. In any other video game that you can possibly think of, it's part it's partially different. Since these unknown agents didn't have a name, I gave them a name. Also reminds me of um, Green Beret too. Don't know what Green Beret is, it's Russian Attack. That was his original title, by the way. Sir! You won't be needing it. None of y'all won't be needing this. I swear, he, you know, past few days, you know. Him been getting idiots who just, I don't know. Who just want to get their kicks off harassing me or some shit like that. Probably you're thinking, why am I playing this for Valentine's Day? Think about it. <laughs> Haven't you ever wanted to be Ian Fleming's James Bond? 
If not, you're lying. Hello, Contra. How you doing? Get the fuck away from me, thank you. Let's, see, let's go right. Because no ball, no, no, no headquarters could be complete without ninjas. I mean, I swear people need to just chill the fuck out, you know? This by far is the most difficult of all the bosses in this game. Because one thing this boss will do a lot is... He will just do this. Poof, in and out. The smart thing you need to do is just... If you got a machine gun, waste every bullet. Like so. And here's that ICBM I was talking about. You have, to, you have to admit, that has to be the most weirdest jump ever known by man. Because every gun he carries, except for the, um, the laser gun, they all shoot the same type of ammunition. Jalapeno peppers! Now, I read reviews sometimes, and, and they say, well, it wasn't Konami's finest, but you know what I said? Oh, laser gun. I said, so what? Nobody heard, ever heard of Monster Maulers, but the fact that Masato Shimon actually, um, Or the fact that Masato Shimon did the theme song to it. Which was the original title's um which was the original title called Kyoku, Kyoku Sentai Dadadon. Sometimes I feel terrible for those who don't have you know, dates or, you know, girlfriends, or even boyfriends, you know, I feel for those people. <sighs> oh, hi, Joss, how you doing? You! You cannot get me this time! Ha ha ha! Prepare a coffin for yourselves if you dare to bust us!
let me get my jalapeno Walter P38. Muy caliente! And I mean, I'm serious though. I, I feel for those who just don't have that special someone. Because for those who say, oh, I don't believe in love, you do. How else would you explain yourself being here? If your if your parents didn't love each other, like if somebody ever said, and and, and, I, and I've heard this far too many times to hear about this. It's like, well, if somebody told me that they that they love me. You wouldn't believe it, yeah. I hear this from Ryu sometimes, you know. Because he, because since he's been like, oh, victimized by bullies, most, well, possibly the same time, oh. <laughs> most, most of his life, I think, growing up. I can understand, you know, because growing up, you know that the worst thing you can realize is that, you know, there's just some people out there who just act like douchebags. You know, they act holier than thou and shit like that. And, they want to be noticed so badly, they, they'll even treat the nicest guy like shit. I mean, how many times have we heard, heard this shit before? Like a nice girl, always one of these quote unquote bad boy, just because, oh, he treats me good, yet yeah, he treats you like shit. What the fuck? I'm sorry, but I can't condone that kind of mess. I mean, I I went through I went through a terrible relationship myself. A lot of terrible relationships. But when I but when I was married though. For the most part, it was good. You know, it wasn't so bad. Until I found out exactly what happened. When I was, um... When I was back home for a while, just to get my, myself a checkup. Kind of felt my heart bro I felt my heart being broken. When I learned that my wife had, you know my then wife had cheated on me and I thought it was the end of the world and a close friend of mine died like a while back she was one of my, she was one of my um one of my supporters when I was going through um When I was, you know, starting off as a writer. I'll get you, Gadget, next time! I am! So, clearly I can understand. I mean, clearly I can understand, you know, why, but, you know, you shouldn't give up on love. That's the thing. And you shouldn't feel, you know, 
sour towards, you know, somebody who, who's happy, you know? Because, you know, every relationship is, you know, you know, milk and honey, you know? Sometimes they're lemons, and you gotta deal with the lemons as well as, as the, um, the milk and honey. And if you can work that out, you know, you would have an A-OK -okay relationship. You can deal with the worst upon worst. I mean, I see nothing wrong. I don't see nothing wrong with um, Valentine's Day, but I do believe it's been like every other, um, like every other known seasonal seasonal thing. Yeah, it's it's been it's been commercialized a lot. Tail and back. Like to me, I believe, you know, you know, Valentine's Day is Valentine's Day shouldn't be for one day. You, should, you know, especially if you have that special someone you're happy with. You're supposed to treat Valentine's Day every day for them. Whether it's, you know, the good or the you know, good or bad. And somehow the music just died. Thing. You know, when you're in a relationship and, and it's working out, treat it, treat every day like, you know, differently. But at the same time, you should always treat the one, the one you truly love and care for. You know, not just, you know, one time, but you know, every day. I mean, that's what I honestly think. I've said this in the, I've said this in a previous Valentine video, but you know, seriously, you know, you, you should treat every day that you have with that one person that you love and adore and cherish and all that. Like it was spring, you know, every day, like if it was spring. You should always treat it like, you should always treat them like, you know, they're worth keeping. I know I do. Even on those days that I don't feel right, you know, I, I, I you know, I get that one little, you know, it's, it's going to be okay, you know. I get that little bit of assurance. Especially now, in my in my career. I need that kind of assurance. You know, just let me know. Oh, yeah, you know, everything's going to be okay, you know. Everything will work itself out. And that's the one thing that most people don't realize. It, everything will work itself out. Even... Even those I talk to on Skype, you know? I mean, they get tired of work and work is kicking their ass. And, and like most, most of the people in RCO really do work. So, you know, sometimes they might have one of those days that they don't want to deal, you know, when they come home. 
it's gonna be like that, but you know, you know, you shouldn't feel like, you know, it's, you know, you're gonna get tired. Granted, I've been there. And I'm serious, I have been through that shit. It, it, it is not a good feeling. I went through I, I went through a lot as a teacher and I can tell you. You just wanna get the hell out of there. I'm not really, you know I'm not really mad because I can totally relate. I like I said, I used to work as a teacher, so Volunteer, yes, but still. Well, shotgun really works here. You know, I don't like to deal with the houses of everyday life. And even when I worked, I, I just don't like working. But you know, as long as I had someone to come home to. Like, you know, I come home to my family. I'm glad to be coming home to my family. Sometimes they will bug the shit out of me. But... Until I earn enough capital to move out. At least, at least I have, you know, a nice roof over my head and food to eat. I mean, there's so many things that have seemed wrong in, in various relationships. For the most part, I've seen, you know, in some relationships, the guy is working his hardest. Working his ass off. Just to make ends meet for... Either his girlfriend or his wife, and oh, possibly children. It works like a nine to five job. He has to take every kind of bullshit that there is for the sole fact that he's doing, you know, his job, sometimes, you know, he comes home, he just want to be greeted with, you know, hugs and kisses, and maybe, just maybe, you know, a pot of coffee, which isn't saying much. There's some women, you know, that just act, you know, just very ugly. But, that goes without saying, you know, it's 
like everybody should feel a bit of appreciation because they go through so much, you know? Well, I think it's time to kill that ball, so. Mission's complete. I get to blow this shit up. And, um... I get to go back to the yacht. But as I said before, you know, Valentine's Day shouldn't be just one day. It should be like every day that you treat, you know, every day you should treat Valentine's Day. If you have someone, treat it, treat it every day like Valentine's Day. So, with that, that has been Special Project Y, brought to us by Konami of 1989, a very underrated classic in arcades. And Loop on the Gadget, Agent 00 WTF has landed for a drink and a smoothie. And some poontang by three ugly looking women. Some look uglier than most, but I don't know. They don't seem drawn right for some reason. I don't know why. But hey. Another man's trash is another man's treasure, as they say. Till next time, I have been the Tenkai Each of Gaming, and be good to each other. Tenkai Muso, and thanks for joining me.